Good afternoon. Welcome to the course about free boundary constant mean curvature in hype surface. In fact, um, I work in this mini course about this topic, but in free boundary, same C, uh, hypersurface and surface in the ball, problem in the ball. Remember that this um, joint work, this um, project with SIMPA and uh, ICTP research in pairs. And also, I today I remember one minute. Uh, sorry, I need to do something here. Okay. And uh, today I remember something. What is this course I do? This is a mini course at the Mars begin and the Mars and begin of PhD level. Yesterday you, you saw some classical results. Today I will see fee boundary semi C or minimal hypersurface surface problem in the ball. Especially, I talk about gap results after the you will talk about stability. Then about the index and uh, about the Steklov edge value problem, and uh, after some characterization of the critical catenoid, and uh, finally we'll talk about some open problems. This is all about the mini course. If we, there are some new here, I talk this a little about all the mini course. Okay. Ah, I forget. Uh, um, a remark. If you need to talk and uh, there is some question, please open your microphone and uh, talk with me because I don't see if you write in here and it is important. Stop me, open your microphone and uh, give him something, okay? If he, my voice is not good and uh, you take me, you said me about this. If it to my letter, when you write in the black blackboard is, is small, please tell me me if there are some pro there is some problem about that. Okay, so let's begin. <clears throat> What's the plan? Remember now these few minutes. I remember what I did yesterday. So yesterday in the lecture one, I. I did a brief motivation to study different geometry. Yes, I did this. And uh, today, sorry, there are some <laughs> problems here. And today in the lecture two, we talk about fee boundary minimal or semi C hypersurface surface. And uh, I talk about gap results. What's the gap results? And uh, you have a surface in the ball. And uh, you can, you need to classify, you want to classify the surface. So use this gap result to classify the surface. Okay, surface or hypersurface. And, um, sorry, in the lecture three, remember, I, I will talk about fee boundary, hypersurface, same C in the ball, stability, and in the lecture four, we we'll talk about some characterization of the critical catenoid and the open problems. Yes, these are the plan. So let's begin to lecture two. And uh, remember, in this lecture, what I will do? I will do some introduction motivation for this problem after you show for you some results and finally, I will show for you some reference, a little reference about this problem, okay? Now we begin this lecture, remember some, remember some, some facts that I did yesterday. Then this is a brief introduction motivation that I, I talk, you talk the, sorry, with you yesterday. So first, I remember that the relation of that any closed star shapes semi C surface in the Euclidean tree space. Only I remember what star shape. I remember that star shape you have a surface, you have a point here, for example, the center, and trace a line intersect the surface one time. This is star shape. Okay, I remember that because if we 
there is some somebody new. He don't have problem with this definition. So Gele showed that if you have a um, closed star shape semi C soft in the creditory space, then you prove that this uh, surface is around the sphere. You remember that the half I uh, yesterday I talk a lot uh, a lot uh, about this. Uh, Hoff show provided that any closing emits semi C soft topology to a sphere in the Euclidean space is around the sphere. And uh, I ask you about if you can remove this topological to a sphere. That's me. You can remove this hypothesis, yes or not? And uh, you saw that yesterday. I, I told you that you can you can't remove this hypothesis. Let me see. And these are famous conjecture, half conjecture, that the condition of topology to a sphere can be removed. This is a question. And uh, and uh, remember that uh, Alexandro gave his affirmative answer to half conjecture. In this case, the surface is um, uh, is um, uh, assumed to be uh, Biden. And uh, he invited in this moment here, Alexandro reflection method. This is um, very important method to, to prove something important in different geometry, very important method. So after yesterday, remember, I remember and they proved the Barbosa do Carmo theorem, this very beautiful result. And this theorem say that they proved that any closed mass, mass sorry, stable, same C, same C hypersurface, compact, closed, oh, sorry, is around the sphere. This, this, this theorem I proved yesterday. But I prove in the case is um, surface, okay? But I the same idea. After you remember that, see, um, in 1982, he's young and that, sorry, he, he, he collaborated, constructed a same C topological sphere, the equilibrium for space, so if this is not around the sphere. And, uh, went to construct a semi C in mesh two of two torus in the creative tree space, which this this theorem pro this proved the half conjecture. This all by basically all the the we see so yesterday. Okay. But yesterday I remember that I begin to, to talk with you about Fee boundary semi C surface in the ball. And I begin to, to talk about this definition. And then now I remember this definition because the, all the time I needed this definition to, to give you this, to talk about the problem. Okay. And uh, let's go to begin. What's this definition? Eh? Are you right here? Definition, you have it. Um, I measure in the ball. Remember that yesterday I said that the ball is a set of points in two equilibrium three space so that this happen. And uh, the boundary of the ball is the sphere. That's me. I put here thinking about the students because I don't know if you have students. So I need these information. So now I, I begin to talk about the definition fee bound the same C surface in the ball. Then you consider here and measure my surface in the pediatry ball and uh, you, you say that this, this surface is fee boundary, same C or same C fee boundary. Okay, if, we, um, if you have that sigma intersect the boundary of the ball is the boundary of the sigma. Moreover, we have that the 
mean coverage is constant. And the moreover, you have that the surface intersect the boundary orthogon. Okay, let me let me draw a picture to explain better about this. I remember that I I I did this definition, but I think it's important to talk a little more about this. You have here a ball. Sorry. And uh, you have here a surface, and uh, you have the normal and surface. All my surface is is orientable, okay? In this letter, all my surface here is orientable. So what does mean that? That mean if you have here on the boundary, the ball, you have that the core normal. The core normal coincides with the vector position, and uh, you have here the normal is orthogonal the core normal. This that's me. Sorry for my draw, my picture. Okay, is uh, what that mean? Now you can see the the some pictures example about this. You have here on the left, on the left you have. A piece of the lunar surface, these are phi boundary and semi C surface. And at the right, you have here a uh, caps, spherical caps, and uh, these are um, phi boundary semi C surface. This image by Barbosa Cavalcante Pereira. And uh, after I will talk better about this image. Okay. So there is some question in this moment. No. If there is any question, please let me know. Okay, let's move on. Um, here I have a, another example, and uh, in the same way before, you have a, a ball and you have a piece of cap spherical. The same way that that you show before, but you have a, a, another ima image. And uh, remember that the. In this case, the true example that you show for you is a uh, same C, okay? This uh, example is a minimal, field boundary minimal surface. You have uh, here a ball, like I draw yesterday. Then you can play, uh, remember, you have here system coordinates. And uh, you have here a plane. And this disk is the same that one, okay? It's the um, simple free bound minimal surface. And they, I remember that yesterday, if you have a, another plan here, you can plan this. Sorry for my, you have here, where K and K, you have not more fee bound. Here is surface fee bound, but this is not surface fee bound. Okay, I, I only did these remarks. Okay, now we have um, another example about minimal surface, minimum critical catenoid. This critical catenoid is parameterized for this expression. And uh, this is an important surface that I talk uh, more today about this critical catenoid. Okay. And uh, how do you how do you meet this critical catenoid? Remember that I say yes, I said yesterday for you that you have this uh, surface here, and this surface is a revolution surface. You can take a revolution surface, catenary, and you show that these are uh, catenoid critical. If we, there is a solution for this problem here, you put here, okay? So next, and uh, you can see the, the same problem about the fee boundaries, surface or hypersurface or manifold is the same way. And they use, if you study the first variation of volume of the, the submanifold, and uh, now you consider here 
a compact k-dimensional mass submanifold. Então, sorry, you have here a mass. Now I talk not, not in this place here, k is equal to two, and but you can define um, the same problem here, but in any submanifold. Okay. This are manifold here, sigma is compact. Compact here in this letter, let me see, is uh, closed with, the, there is a, a boundary, with the boundary is no in part, okay? And uh, what more? I consider that the boundary of sigma inside the boundary of M. In this case here, you have the boundary of sigma um, inside of the sphere, okay? So you can define a variation of the submanifold and what I can, what I want, sorry. I want to define some, um, some operate, some operate, then I can calculate the, the critical point and show that if you have a critical point, you have that is a free boundary, Minimal surface or free boundary, semi C surface or hyper surface, like that. These are I will do. Okay. So if you have a defining, defining the, um, this volume, then you can calculate the, the, this. And the, the first variation of volume, you have this expression. What does mean this expression? Does mean that you have here. I put here, sorry, I put here this calculator in this, in this, my slide, eta, sorry. And uh, this expression, that's me, you have here in the first integral here, you have this, when you have information about the mean curvature, in the last information, in the other integral, you have information about the boundary, okay? So you can prove that, if you have a critical point here, if only if the soft, the manifold, is so, sorry, the submanifold is minimal, and moreover, the sigma intersect the boundary of M, of M along the sigma. Okay, the same way that I said before, but now I have some characterization about the um, problem with variation, okay? And uh, there's some way that you have this, you can, you can uh, see the problem with semi C hypersurface or surface and the uh, critical point of this variation, but uh, now you have that the variation preserve volume in the same way, okay? I remember that is, I talked with you yesterday, but I think this is important to remember this, especially for the students, okay? Let's continue about that. And uh, I remember that some important facts that he studied this. I remember that Rosa Vergasta studied compact, stable. Stable, I remember yesterday, I talked a lot about this information about stable. Okay, but don't worry. Yes, tomorrow I will talk a lot about this too. And the uh, Rosenberg Gaster study compact state semi C hypersurface with phi boundary in the ball, in the Euclidean ball. And uh, they proved that, they proved it. If you have a Euclidean three ball, a closed ball, and you take here a surface or in table compactus semi C surface is stable, this is very important, with phi boundary. Then what they prove? They prove that the boundary is in, in Biden. And moreover, they prove that sigma is a totally geodesic disk, or sigma is a spherical cap, or sigma is, has gen one, and uh, with most two boundary components. Um, it's important to say that yesterday when I talked with you, for example, when I talk the gauss bonnet theorem, we talk only about the surface in doubt boundary. 
But today I talk a little more about the surface with the boundary, of course, because I, I talk about the fee boundary problems. And uh, in this here, there is a question. The question is, you can remove the, the it tree, okay? If, why this question? Eh? This question is because in this paper, um, don't have an example about this, this it tree, sorry. And uh, um, Nunes, Nunes provided that, yes, you can remove the, this it tree. And uh, Nunes provided that if you have the ball, a closed ball, and sigma is the same in C, <clears throat> or in table, compact, stable surface, and with phi boundary, then what Nunes provided? Nunes provided that sigma, Sigma has general zero. So you can remove the, the it tree. Today I don't prove this fact, but uh, tomorrow I will prove this. Okay, only these are information about some things that I we studied this yesterday, but I only a brief introduction about this. Okay, next. And as a consequence of Rosberg reaction Nunes, you have a complete classification of mesh compact stable semi C surface with free boundary in the closed ball in clear tree space. This result is, is, uh, is Nunes, and they prove that the compact, the total umbilical disks are the only mesh orientable compact stable and semi C surface with free boundary in the closed ball. So you have a uh, rigid result here. Very important, these results. So um, let me see. Now I begin to talk a little about, about existence classification results. And uh, in, the moment, in this moment here, there is some question about this, or can I continue? Can I continue? If you have some question, please open your microphone and tell me about this. Okay, let's continue. So, as I say, I talking now about the existence classification results, some existence classification results about fee boundary, same C, you have surface problem. You remember that a strong pro and just, just sort my pronunciation. Uh, show that the existence of problem in, in Biden free bound minimum disk inside the strictly convex subsets of the uh, tier creed tree space after Massimo Nunes and the Smith 2070 uh, provide that the existence of free, free bound minimum now, uh, now it is provided about free bound minimum and only inside the table convex subset, subsets of three dimensional human manifold for non negative heat coverture. This, in particular, include the last one results. And I remember that Fraser Shen provide the existence of minimum free boundary surfaces on the Euclid unit ball with zero genus and the R boundary components. And uh, the, the R is bigger or equal to three. Fixed. And I remember that Folha, Pacart, and so Zorotarella provide that for a sufficient large R, R, sorry, there is a surface of Gen 1 and R component on the boundary. Okay, this is all the some, of course, there are more examples, more results, but I put here only a few, only a few. And I uh, remember that Kedove provide that for any value of genus G bigger or equal to one, there is a minimum fibon surface on the ball with this genus, okay? Now, um, you have here um, a homepage that I think is very beautiful. There are some very beautiful images and very beautiful results. I don't know if I can Open this, but I will, I will do one minute. Sorry. 
um, after I don't uh, open this, but uh, after you can see your um, after my my presentation, you can see very beautiful image here and the uh, German Canal Gallery do it by Mario Schulz, Professor Mario Schulz homepage is very beautiful images about fee boundary with a uh, general zero with a general uh, many components in the boundary, very beautiful um, surface, okay? Uh, I think that's important uh, if you can see this, this homepage. Okay, let's move on. Remember, now I, I'll talk a little about some classification results. And uh, these results, for example, Nietzsche provided uh, results, huge results. In 1985, they, he provided that if you have a sigma compact fee boundary, minimum surface in the ball, if sigma two is a, if this surface is a topological disk, then you have that sigma two is a plane equatorial disk. Oh, that's me. You have the, this image here in the blackboard. So um, after this, these results, this sorry, these results are extended to fee boundary minimum disk in the geodesk, in the geodesk ball in the three dimension space. But now space forms and by whole swan and after by swan in the case of hypersurface. And uh, Fraser Shen provided, um, gener generalized these results, result niche results, for the case when you have a fee boundary minimal disk, now in the geodesk ball of arbitrary dimension in space forms, okay? I put here space form because it is uh, important, of course, for, for us, but important, of course, for the old and other problems that I told you before. And uh, they proved that if you have um, a surface in the Euclidean ball surface, but in, now you have here a surface in the case of the phrase share, you have a surface in the ball with n dimension, okay? So, you can, sorry, and uh, they prove that the only fib on the minimum disk in the ball of the, the space form is a, is a equatorial disk, okay? Very strong results. So let's continue. Um, I, in this moment here, I show for you only a few examples about existence and classification, okay? These results here is about rigid results, and uh, it is important to classify surface. So now I I begin to talk a little about some gap results. Okay, then I begin to motivate you to study this about the classical results. Yesterday when I talked with you, I remember that I motivate to study different geometry with about classical results about semi C, minimal surface, and uh, you have a um, close, close that me uh, so in the close surface, okay? Now you remember that there is some analogy and the problem you classify surface, minimal surface, minimal surface, hyper surface in the sphere, minimal, and uh, the feeble, Fee boundary surface in, in the case of the uh, in the case here. Remember that this theorem provided by Chen, Ducarme, Kobayashi, and uh, by Lawson, but independently they proved that. Remember that this, if you have a sigma be a closed minimal hyper surface in the sphere, then if you have a, the second fundamental form satisfies this gap. What they proved? They proved that if you have, um, if you have this gap, remember this, this satisfies this, of course. Then what they prove? They prove that all oh, this 
quality here occurring, then you have classified this as hypersurface equatorial, or you have that the other inequality here helps, and you have that these are critically hypersurface. So in, in this point here, it's important to think about. So you have it, think about it. You have it. Minimal hypersurface in the sphere, so you can do the same results in the case of fee boundary, yes or not? So to do this, um, Ambrose and Nunes, Nunes, sorry, provided this result in the case of fee boundary minimal surface, but of course here you can you can define the gap. The same way that it did it before, but the gap that you have some classification. So let me see here. Uh, Ambrosio Nunes provide this result that uh, is the following. Consider sigma a compact fee boundary minimum surface in the ball, and uh, suppose that the second fundamental form satisfies this condition. Remember, one, one minute here, I put here, Theorem, Ambrosio, Enonis. So you have, I put here because I need to explain better. You have a mesh of fee boundary minimum surface, and uh, suppose that you have this gap. So I uh, uh, important to say that yesterday I talked a little about this function. I remember that this function is a, a support function. Okay, <clears throat> let's continue. What's this classified the surf this surface? Then you have here either this the the gap the this expression is equal to zero. In this case, if it's equal to zero, we have that sigma is a flat equatorial disk, or there is some point in surface that you have the quality. In the same way that I said before, you remember that. Of course, this is all, all occurring, but what they did, they did have, oh, this occur, the quality occur, then you have a flat disk, or there is some point that you have this equality and you have, in this case, you can prove that these are critical catenoid. Okay, here are uh, some image about this, let me, I show for you before, and the left you have here a disk, a equatorial disk in the left, in the right, you have here a uh, uh, catenoid critical. But when K ask you about what does, does this gap mean? Sorry, when this gap mean, okay? So, so I first I will talk a little about this gap. This gap, uh, this gap has has strong information about topological information of the surface, the boundary of the surface, and uh, I show and I I put some thinking about it before about this gap is very important, of course. Né? So what's the idea? Né? The idea first you can define. I begin the proof now. You define the function. The same way x x f is a function that you have the surface to r r sorry. So what I I can do first I will prove that the the gradient on surface is given by this expression by x the boundary of the surface. This is important because if you prove that you can show after that the, for example, minimal don't have don't occur in the boundary, but inside the the sigma, okay. 
And uh, these are simple to prove that because you have here the gradients. <clears throat> is if by I put here the another letter X and uh, is the same that and uh, remember that you have here you have here a boundary sorry a ball and uh, my surface is orthogonal the 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 boundary of the ball, the sphere. So in this case, you have that conormal is the same the vector position, and then this vector is normal here. And uh, you can so in this case, he because this happened, you have that the gradients equal to x. So all points in the bone. Okay, so this is very simple to prove. So next, and uh, you can prove that the geodesic boundary, so the geodesic curvature in, in the boundary is is equal to one. This is important. Are you a minute? I will prove that is is special because I think that. Maybe there is some student here, then I think that it's important to prove something for students. Of course, my colleagues' research know all this. And uh, how do you prove that? And uh, here you have a, a geodesic curvature. And uh, these are defined, you take a uh, vector fields here, so that the normal is uh, equal to one. So these are this defined, uh, defined, sorry, by this expression. But uh, remember that you have here, I pause that, sorry, my letter here is very small, I think that for you. In the boundary, in the boundary, the normal coincide with the vector position, so you can see here, because you have a fig boundary condition. So you have here, because this is a, a Vector position, so this is the same that, and uh, this is equal to one. What does mean? Of course, this is bigger than zero, so you have that uh, sum. This show that the boundary is strictly convex. This can you can prove that you you can prove that all points in surface. You can if you take two points on surface, you can show that there is a Minimum geodesic that join these two points. This is important for us. Okay. Okay, let's continue. After that, you can calculate what's the idea. Remember that? Remember that you have this, this theorem, this hypothesis. We we will prove that known is the Ambrosio, prove that this is the same that prove that Hessian of uh, this function is bigger or equal to zero. That means this, this function here, uh, F, is a, uh, convex. Okay? So if this is convex, you have a strong properties and topological properties important to this problem. So, now, to prove the, this result here, you can calculate the, I, I, I will do this calculate. I think this, I will do this calculate special for the students. 
And then this by definition is the same that All these I calculate in the point X in manifold sigma, sorry, surface sigma. So it's the same that you have, and it's the same that you have X, Y minus, <clears throat> okay. Remember that my function here is this function, okay? So you have that. Now you can calculate that the same, this expression. Ah, sorry, I don't put here this uh, connection in equidial tree space. And uh, when I put this connection, is the same that this expression, okay? These are connection in the surface. Sorry, I I don't I don't talk this. So this is the same that you have a um, x minus this connection. So it's the same that. So you need to say about information about this. But in the case you have here a surface. So you can see that one minute. <clears throat> Remember that you can decompose this connection, this expression plus um, this expression, and is the normal here, sorry, okay. And of course you have here, and uh, as you have that this satisfies this, you have here is the same that you can write this, and uh, you can write the same that I said before. So in this expression here, in the Hessian, you can calculate this minus this expression. The same is the same that. So you can see. Um, one minute, and uh, you have that. Okay, this. But what does mean it? What I want? I want to prove that the the eight value of Hessian is bigger than zero, because bigger or equal to zero. Because you have proved this, you finish that this this function is convex, okay? So now you take your, uh, any question? Any question here? Now you take um, orthonormal base, as I said yesterday, and uh, you consider Uh, orthonormal base so that satisfy this, this. Remember that this uh, covert, sorry, principal covert, as I said before, yesterday. And uh, you have this, you can calculate here the Eight value, this, and uh, these are one minus x n, and uh, this is the same that kappa i. 
So what does it mean? I, this, I, I think that it's to important to, to explain about this because during my the proof, this uh, clean, why I need this information, okay? So look for this. If you have here, if you have here, you have that two minus cap one, cap two, this expression. In the case you have a minimal surface, remember that yesterday I gave for you. In the case minimal surface, this is zero, so you have two, this is bigger than zero, and uh, you have a product is the same that I forget this point, okay? So in the same way, you can prove that. <clears throat> but again, you have that if you have the minimal surface, this is zero. So you have that this, remember this is the Gaussian curvature. But you have now, you have if you have the minimal surface by Gauss equation, you have this. So now you have this expression, and I, if you can to show that this satisfies that, you can that since this is bigger than zero, if this is bigger equal to zero. This equivalent to show that the hypothesis in theory. Okay, I show this only to 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 stay clear. Why do you have this and the uh, relation about this? Only this. Okay, sorry for my calculation. Let's continue. Now you have a, um, here the age value of Hessian is given by this expression. Why? Why? Because it, I only I only did more calculation very fast. I promise. If you have minimal surface, you have that uh, this and uh, by Gauss equation. equation sorry. You have that, and uh, you have that here. Suppose that, and uh, you have it here. And uh, cap one is equal to this, okay? So you can put here where, we're here, and uh, you have uh, this expression. Okay, let's continue. Okay, one minute. I will drink an hour. There is some question in this point here. If there, let me know, please. Okay, if you don't have it, let's continue. <clears throat> so now, um, as I said before, if you have this hypothesis, here is the same that you prove that the Hessian satisfy this. So this um, now you can you can take about a, about some minimum minimal sets. These are uh, this set C. The set C is very important for for us because you have this this condition gap. You can prove that this this set here is totally convex. What does mean totally convex? Does mean that you, if you have any geodesic arc, you, if you have two points and geodesic arc, you can prove that all the, the geodesic, all the geodesic stay con contained in, in C. These are immediate consequences, sorry, <laughs> immediate consequences of 
of the Hessian of the function. Okay. Um, let me give you some. I have I have time, and I give some idea about this because this is very very important for us. <clears throat> Some idea, and uh, you define the the set as a as a set of points in sigma, so that um, the minimal the distance is mean. Sorry, here I minimize here. So. Where I prove, suppose that you have two points, P and Q, Q in the set, and uh, suppose that you have a, a geodesk join these points, so that sigma or gamma in zero is equal to P, and uh, gamma in one is Q. I claim that gamma is side of the cone of the set C. How do you prove that? How do you prove that? Remember this gap here? Um, remember this, this gap here is the same that this follow. So if you take this function, this satisfies, so this, this implies that f is convex function, okay? So this imply and uh, what does mean this? this? This set is the minimum point. So if you have a minimum point, you have that, is a convex function, you have that this function um, is the image by this function is equal to C, so you have that so you have that uh, the geodesk is in this set, okay? So this idea. Now, after this, you can prove more. What I, I want, I want to analyze this set, set C here. Since the, the surface is compact and you have a continuous, the function continuous, so you have, ah, okay, the set C has a point, one point, or the set C has more than two points. So if you have C has only two points, you can prove that um, that the sigma is a topology disk. In this case, by nature, you have the, the results. And uh, what does mean? For example, if you have this gap here is, sorry, I think something is wrong here. One minute. One minute. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, I I did something wrong here. And uh, if you have this this expression here, only this this expression, and uh, you can say that this this set only this point. So you have the disk. So by need you have this disk is a equatorial disk. So you have a classification, but if you have it, C, there are more than two point, you can prove that sigma is a meomorph to anons, and uh, you can prove that the, the set C is a closed geodesk. Moreover, you can prove that C is a great circle, and moreover, you can prove that it, um, the normal vector is P, where P is in the set C, and uh, 
you can prove basically that sigma is a critical catenoid because you can construct the function. X is vector position, normal position, and uh, a, a tree is a vector, is vector. And uh, you can prove that this, this function satisfies this equation, PD, and uh, on sigma. And after you can prove that this, this function satisfies this equation, on boundary of sigma. So you can prove it after some calculation that um, the function u is equal to zero. And uh, if you prove that, you have that, you have a surface, revolution surface, and you can finish the proof, this idea, okay? I don't uh, prove this because it's very long, the calculation, and I don't prove this, okay, uh, here, but uh, this idea, okay? So there's a main idea of if we, this, this, this result, very beautiful result, Ambrose and Nunes. Let's move on. Any question here? Okay. Now here I have an example with um, parameterization of a piece of catenoid that satisfies this gap. This param parameterization, like I said before, this uh, parameterization with this expression where a is zero is satisfies this, and uh, t zero is the only positive solution of the equation. This is because you have this catenoid shows that you have a intersection is right in the boundary, and uh, you have it. You can prove that you have this expression, and uh, of course you have that this gap is, is satisfies this gap, okay? The catenoid critical. So next, what's the, the next gap that I will talk with you? The next step, gap that I will talk with you if, it's, if the natural question is, if you have here, Ambrosi Nuno provide that you have a, the boundary minimum surface in the ball <clears throat> that satisfies this gap, so you can do the same uh, problem in the case of semi C surface oh, in boundary. Oi, hi. Can I say? <laughs> Sorry? Christopher? Okay, sorry, Christopher. I turn off the your, your microphone. I don't know if you want to, to talk, but if you can to talk, please let me know. I don't understand. Okay, sorry. Let's move on. There is some question. Okay, if you don't have a question, let's move on. Um, it's clear at the moment, or oh, there is some question, not? Okay, so. I, I did this, this all calculation because important when I talk about the others, the others gaps and they use the same idea, but of course there is some, some in, how do you say, problem with some things. Okay, but this, this idea. Oh, sorry. When I, I turn off the, the, the microphone. Okay. I think that, okay, now, now when I talk about critical catenoid, I think that is very important to talk about the, the critical catenoid conjecture. So these are conjecture um, by phrasing Lee that this conjecture say the critical catenoid is the only embodied the free bound minimum on the ball if it, this conjecture. And uh, the first question here, 
is you can remove the the hypothesis in Biden. Okay, no, you can't remove that, but uh, what you can. So um, there, there is there. Sorry, there are some answers about this conjecture. Partial answer, sorry, about this conjecture, but at the moment that I know don't have the the solution about this conjecture. So I think that important to 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 do some some idea about this conjecture and about the in the case of when have a minimal minimal um, hype surface in the case of the sphere. Remember that you have some analogy with this case, the boundary and the minimal surface in the sphere. Now, in this case, you have here, um, remember that the famous conjecture also conjecture that the, the, the conjecture said the clear foot torus is the only by the minimal torus in the sphere up to hidden motions. And uh, this conjecture was provided by Simon Brando. And uh, one question, is is we can you can the use the 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 idea by Simon Brenda to prove the conjecture phrasally. Um, there are some oh, these are no my question, but this question by by Lee. Um, there is a very beautiful paper um, about some open problems right by Lee. This no my question, okay. So I think that the um, big problem, uh, big problem, when you 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 can you think about this because you have the the boundary, and uh, especially me, I, I I don't know what how do you do in the boundary? Okay, the same idea. Okay, and uh, in the last in the last lecture. I will talk in better about this conjecture because there are some 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 results, um, partial results, and I, I talk better about uh, this conjecture. Okay, so let's move on. Um, now I will talk about uh, the 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 question that I I did for you uh, some minutes before, and uh, if you have a compact fee boundary semi C surface in the ball. You can do the 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 you can do the same classification, the idea of Ambrose Nunes, but now you have the same C problem in the ball. But uh, you have the now you have the new gaps, of course, because you have the same C surface. And uh, this gap here, this gap, you have that either this equal to zero and uh, Sigma is a spherical cap, look at this image. Or you have that uh, equality occurring on point in this gap, and you have that these are surfaces apart, the only surface like this image here. These are, in fact, they proved it. recently, they published this, uh, this, this result in more other results in, the, this, in this paper. Okay. Okay, um, I, I give some idea about this, this proof, but I don't prove it all totally because the main idea here, but I, I give it for you where the point, difficult point to show this, okay? So let's move on. <clears throat> and uh, here I have some idea if this, the, the proof is motivated, of course, by Ambrose in only the work. And uh, in the same way that you show this gap um, is the same that prove that this gap here is the same way you prove that uh, about the Hessian of the function in the same way. But here, in this case, you have a problem. What's the problem here? The problem here, I don't know if you can see this column, but if you don't have, sorry, I will put it white, okay? When you analyze the eight value here, in this moment here you have, if you have minimal surface, this equal to zero, okay? So in this case here, you have that lambda one plus lambda two is equal to two, 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 
So this is bigger than zero, and then can, you can conclude all results, okay? But in this case, you have that kappa one plus kappa two is equal to the mean curvature, but the mean curvature now is not zero. So you have to analyze when this function here is bigger than zero. So this is the first point, the first difficult, okay? So <clears throat> how do you do this? And uh, the first one, the, the, first the, first, the first step that you need to do is exactly to meet the uh, right gap, but uh, this no difficult. But uh, after to do this, you can, uh, you can prove that this gap implied that you have the same way that Ambrosian only shows. And uh, to prove this, you have to use that the umbilical points on surface is isolated and the uh, all the surface is totally big. This is the point, okay? Remember that because this is very important. Now, uh, as Ambrosian only did in the semi, and uh, you construct a function like Ambrosian only, and they show that this function is equal to zero, and that you have a uh, revolution surface, okay? But uh, only idea, it's not the proof, only idea, okay? So let's move on. Here, there is some question. Is that, sorry, is that some question? So the, the, the point here in these in this results, of course, what's the difficult here? The difficult here is the first time to meet this, uh, this, this gap. And uh, looking for this gap, this gap said for me, especially if you have a um, minimal curvature, you have the same that Lucas and Bronze, okay? But uh, you have to show that this, is bigger than zero to conclude that you have the, the function is convex. So if you have the function is convex, you have a strong properties with the, the set of C that I defined before. One minute to drink a uh, uh, order. No question? Okay, let's move on. If there is um, uh, any question, please let me see. Um, okay. So now I present for you some results that I did with this uh, joint work with uh, Ezequiel Barbosa from Uni uh, Universidade Federal de Minas Gerais and uh, Edno Pereiro from Universidade uh, Federal de São João del Rey. I give this result when I visit the Federal Univers Univers Universidade Federal de Minas Gerais and uh, I present for you some results. What the idea? I, I clean the blackboard because here to, to explain a little. One minute to to clean this, okay. So remember some things that uh, I comment here. The first result by Ambrosio Ambrosio Anonis. Have a minimum surface, okay, P boundary in the equator ball. <coughs> um, Barbosa Cavalcanti. And Pereira. Providing some gap, they study, study about the um, 
same as sea surface. Surface with boundary. Now, sorry. And now I put here because there are some other examples that I talk for you. <clears throat> okay, and do more about this. So the question is, um, Ambrosio Nunes, um, Barbosa Cavalcante Pereira showed these results when you work with the creditory space, the ball in the creditory space. So what I, I what we did, do did the work about not more in the creditory space, but in now working in the in the space that is conformally to a creditory space, but this fact of the conformity is a, a radio function, okay? Let me see better. So I give it here some notation to explain better um, the results. Consider the, the ball, the ball um, in the creditory space, and uh, consider this function, you defining this in this domain, and I consider the function H, the function H is a, a function that you go the ball, <clears throat> defined by this expression. So you have here a radial function, and uh, you have here a model manifold that is a ball with this metric, that is what this metric J, this metric J is conformally to a creditory space, but now you have this expression. Um, here is a Euclidean metric. So, and uh, you, what, what I want, uh, I want to classify some surface that uh, this surface is a um, phi boundary, but a uh, phi boundary, what is the space in this ball and satisfy some gaps. This is the point, okay? Next, some example about this. Sorry. <laughs> and uh, the first one is the trivial example and you consider the, the function u equal to zero. So you have the creditory space and uh, then the another space. Uh, if you have the function u given by this expression, you have that uh, the ball with this metric is uh, the same that the height hyperbolic space, sorry. And uh, you can consider the function u given by this expression. So you have in this case a sphere minus one point. And uh, if you have a u given by this expression here, you have that this set is the same the Gaussian space, okay? So these are some space that you can see. So let's move on. <clears throat> now, some, some notation a little more. Um, when I use the, the NABLA with the bar, you have the human connection with the, in the ball, with the metric J bar, and you have the, the NABLA without the bar, you have the ball in the grid space. So you have some calculation here, but in this, no, how do you say, very important for the presentation only to see, but uh, of course important for the results. And uh, you have here some calculation to, to do. And uh, when you calculate the, the, this expression here about the connection, sorry, I did this again, one minute. Okay. When you calculate, sorry, when you calculate the, the, uh, this, this factor here, uh, X is a position vector, position field is when you calculate this, you have a sigma. His is given by this expression in the case of the Ambrosi Nunes, 
and Barbosa Cavalcante Pereira, sigma is equal to, to one because u is, is equal to zero. So in this case, you have this, this expression. And uh, you can show you can show that uh, R, so that the sigma is bigger than zero is important for us because if the sigma is bigger than zero, you can show that after some minutes, I will show for you that the boundary of the my my surface is stricter convex. Okay, this is important. Let I say before for you. Let's continue. So I present here our results about the sigma consider here a surface compact phi boundary surface compact and now in this space in the ball but now the metric is conformally the metric and uh, suppose that you have this gap so i i explain what this gap means you why why I explain what the gap means, okay? What, what I can prove? I can prove that if you have the surface satisfies the gap, then you prove that sigma is different from to a disk or sigma is rotational symmetrical if no trivial topology. So you can ask me about, Maria, why you need the second condition? Because when you work with Ambrosio, Nunes, and then... Uh, Barbosa Cavalcante Pereira don't have the second condition, okay? Ma but now you have. Remember that when I explained you about the Cavalcante, Barbosa Cavalcante Pereira, what's the point? The point Cavalcante Barbosa Pereira is exactly this. Show that this is bigger than zero, okay? Big, big or equal to zero, because if you have this, you have it with the gap, to show that this happy and you have a, a signal, okay? This is the point. But in this case, uh, as in this case, you uh, you can you don't know how you can't that you prove that this is bigger than zero or equal to zero to, and uh, I need to information. So you have here a question. You can remove this second condition. We don't know. We don't know if you, if you can remove this second condition, okay? So the second observation remark is the following. Um, you will prove that sigma is diffeomorphic to a disk. Only diffeomorphic a disk. You, you don't know if the, the disk is, for example, the equatorial disk. Why you don't know this? I don't know this because um, I, I don't know the results about it, like Nietzsche, like Fraser Shen, if in this space here, if you have the same result about rigid, I don't know, okay? So in this case, you only prove that sigma is different of a disk, okay? The idea is the same that before, but of course you have some, some difficult, but the idea is, is the same as before, okay? Let's move on. <clears throat> it's clear this, the first, the second, the, the first, the first proof that this eight valon set Hessian is bigger or equal to zero. And uh, you have the second, this proof that this is bigger or equal to zero. This is the point, okay? I don't know to remove, I don't know to remove this second uh, condition. Of course, if you have a minimal surface, you have it, you don't need this, but uh, I don't know. <clears throat> so, and uh, now I give a brief, um, some idea about the proof of this theorem. And uh, of course, this theorem is motiva motivated by the previous results. And uh, now I define the, the certain function, this function here, phi, is the, is um, more technical for, but uh, in this moment I think this this better known talk about this because it's more technical. So you can define this function and then you can calculate the same way the age value of the Hessian 
and uh, you can prove that the age value of the Hessian is given by this expression. You can prove that this, this expression here, sigma, and that this derivative is bigger than zero. So my problem here is prove that one plus kappa a, and that this is bigger or equal to zero like I, I did before, okay? But uh, using this gap, you can that you show that the first inequality ensure that you have the product is big or equal to zero, and the second condition imply that the sum is big or equal to zero. Okay. <clears throat> and uh, this proves that the Hessian, like before satisfies that the function in the Hessian, sorry, <laughs> satisfies this condition. So you can prove that the geodesic curvature of the boundary of the sigma satisfies this expression, this um, calculation. And uh, remember that when I talk with you, I said for you that sigma is, is I shows that rate that, so that the sigma is bigger than zero. Why this? Because if you have this, you have that the boundary of sigma is strictly convex. So you have um, topological information about this like before I proved for you. Now you can consider the same timing that um, before the, the set and I prove the same way that the set is totally convex. Okay, the same idea. So you can analyze the set is if you have the set. What idea? The idea now is the same. You have that the set C has a point, or the set he, C has more than a point. If you set, if you have that set C has no point, you have that about some um, some information, topological information. You can prove that this the sigma is a Different of a disk in this case. And uh, after, if you have that C, there is, for example, two or more points, you can prove that sigma is a surface, revolution revolu surface. Okay? This idea, the same way. Okay, now if you have that sigma contain more than a single point, you can consider um, minimizing uh, geodesk in this, in this, in this set. And uh, you consider two points, you take P and K in this set. So you consider a geodesk. Sorry. And uh, this geodesk, like, like I said before for you, this geodesk live in this in this set C. Okay. Then you can prove that this gamma is a geodesk in the sphere, but this is this this sphere has a radio less than r, and uh, you can prove that. And uh, you can prove that gamma is a um, arc of the great circle. So, and uh, I use I you give some picture here. A minute. So you have a gamma. Now you consider here a plane and uh, you consider here a vector orthogonal to this plane. What's the idea? Idea is the same that uh, they did. You can construct a kill vector field and uh, you show that the, this, yeah, they construct a function, that the function satisfies some PDE and uh, show that this this function equal to zero and finish the proof, this ID. So <clears throat> you can construct this function like before. And uh, you define 
this function here. And uh, what I can, what, sorry, I can now, what I want, I want, I want to show that my claim is that this equal to zero. If you prove that, you finish the proof, okay? So, and uh, you can define this function like this. Sorry, I, here I put U, there I put V. Sorry, but uh, this function satisfies this equation because V is a Jacob function. And, uh, and uh, you can prove that gamma is inside this set, is a critical point in this set, but uh, you have that Cheng show that uh, if you have a function that satisfies like on, on equation this, you have that you have this solution is isolated, or you have that solution is equal to zero. Okay. So if V is equal to, to zero, you have the finish the that V is tangent to surface, and I finish the proof. Okay. So this idea. Of course, the only idea because if you prove this, there are some calculation, but it is is inspired, but in the preview works, okay? So <clears throat> I have a, um, one minute, and uh, these are um, this point. So in this point here, there is a question if you can remove the second condition. I don't know if I can, okay? I don't know how do you do this, I don't know. Of course, I I like it very much if I if I if you somebody prove this in doubt this condition. Okay, let's move on. Um, the next result is a consequences with the previous results that you only take here that you consider consider here in the case of minimum um, fee bond, bond the minimum surface in this ball. In this case here. Like I said before, this ball, you don't need the condition, the second condition, okay? In this case here, if you have the simple gap, you have that sigma is the form of on this, called sigma is a rotational symmetric with non-trivial topology. Remember, in the case of the Ambrosio and Nunes, they prove the same result, and the case there, sigma is equal to zero. Oh, sorry, sigma is equal to one, sorry. Okay, sigma equal to one, it's the same, okay? But now you have the conform metric. And uh, you can prove more, and, uh, and if sigma is a compact boundary, same C surface in this ball with this metric, now you have the, the this gap, but in this case here only the street gap, we can prove that sigma is the form of to a disk only this. Why this? Why this? Because you have, if you satisfy this, you have only a point in the set C. If you have only a point in set C, you have that the surface is the form of a disk, only this. Okay? So, <clears throat> what more? What more is um, when, you uh, when you think about these results, you can prove that the, the next result is that there is a um, R bigger than zero and a minimal surface in this space con with a street or convex boundary in the ball and uh, satisfy this gap, okay? So here there is another question and uh, this surface is fee boundary, okay? I don't know, we don't know. And uh, you have another question here, okay? And uh, you construct, we build, sorry, in the paper, uh, example about the same C surface that satisfies the gap. Okay, is there same? Is there any question here or not? No. Okay. Now I talk a little more about some results and uh, about some remarks. And the uh, first, Li Xiong um, provide this, this results, another result in, okay, in the case of um, fee boundary minimum surface, but in the case of the 
up the sphere in the hyper, hyperbolic space, but the proof that the proof is different for us because they they are a little difficult. Uh, sorry, a little di different for us. Okay. And uh, Barbosa and Viana extend the Ambrosian on results for the case of hypersurface, minimal hypersurface. Okay. And uh, Cavalcante Mendes Vittorio provide. Um, uh, uh, classification with a gap, but now you have a, a result in the surface in the ball, but in the ball if any emission, called emission, sorry. <clears throat> now I have a time and uh, I, I, I talk a little about more these, these results, um, Cavalcanti, Mendes, and the Vittorio, okay? One minute to to clean the black dot board. Sorry. I will show this result because yesterday I talked I talked with you about some um, classical results. So this um, I think that important to to comment. How do you use it? For example, Gauss Bonnet theorem here. Okay, one minute to clean this. So now I talk about the <coughs> Cavalcanti. <coughs> Mendes Vittorio results. Okay, first. You, they consider a surface in the ball, Euclidean ball, where k is a positive number, okay? And uh, here you have a fee boundary, but in this case, a uh, compact, sorry, compact, on the table, sorry. And sigma satisfies the following condition. <clears throat> Suppose that okay, there is here, right? Suppose that the satisfies this. So you can prove this is a trace less, what's the trace less the second fundamental form? The trace less of second fu fundamental form, let me see here. You can define here a the second fundamental form and uh, you have the mean curvature, okay? Sorry, you have the mean curvature, you have a metric. And uh, these are trace less of the second fundamental form. You can calculate this, no difficult, to show that it's the same that when you calculate this, like I said you yesterday, <clears throat> is a vector. Okay. So what, what they prove? They prove that you have this hypothesis and this information, they prove that sigma two is a topologic disk. Well, I, I did some comments here because he, and uh, before all the res results that he, you show for you, you have, I, sorry, you have that, in this, in this term here, you don't have if the mean curvature is constant, okay? You have this gap, but you don't have if the mean curvature is constant, okay? So what's the idea? Uh, first, I, I proved this. 
I have about some fact that uh, I showed for you yesterday. The first one is if you have um, fee boundary, today I prove for you that the geodesic curvature and the boundary is equal to one. Okay. Moreover, uh, uh, for students exercising, suppose that you have a This dimension this is not necessary to fit boundary, okay? And uh, you have this, what this? this uh, you have this, and uh, you take the normal. And the exercise is calculate the divergence of this, and uh, you can prove that is the same. Um, this. Remember, these are these are good exercise to to calculate the divergent. Okay. Yesterday, yesterday, when I talk about the 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 Barbosa do Carmo, sorry, Barbosa and do Carmo, I use this function here. Okay. For the function in this case, remember, in the case n is equal to two, you have that um, two plus two, in this case, one minute to do. And uh, is the, the same that you have, uh, remember? This is a function that you used yesterday to, to do uh, variation, second variation, and this function is a test function. Yesterday I used this, okay? Okay, only this remark, but this is important for yours because you have some remark here. The first one, this, okay? The second remark is the following. Suppose that now you have a fee bond condition, okay? And uh, you have this space, the bond, okay? So when you have this integrate here, what do you can? In this case, you have a minute to do some calculation. Uh, one question, you can see my letter, or oh, there is some problem. If you can see my letter, don't you, don't you, yes, no problem if my letter is bigger. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes, big is, is okay. Is right. Okay, let's continue. So you if you have this, this integrate here, use this exercise, you have that, uh, um, <clears throat> One minute to do the, the special because I, I'm I forget here the 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 element of A. Okay, I forget. Sorry. <laughs> and uh, I I have this, but in this case here you can use for example the division theorem. And uh, remember, in this case you have a fee boundary, so you have here type surface. In the ball, and uh, here in this in the boundary, what happened? What happened that the the conormal vector coincide with the vector position? Remember that. So this is the same that when you, you see in the boundary, and uh, you see here. Okay, but this is the same that what? What x minus okay? So when you calculate here, this the first is zero, and uh, you have here this uh, special, okay? But in this case, you have a fee boundary condition. Sorry, <laughs> if you have a fee boundary condition, what's happy? This happy. 
and uh, is equal to one. So what happened is equal the length of the bundle. Okay. So what I prove here, I prove that the length of the boundary is the same in looking for this, this way, is the same that M and the area of sigma. Let me write in, in big space. Okay, here. A minute to write. So what I prove? I prove that if you have C boundary type surface, you have this, and uh, you have that this expression that I prove for you. Okay, and second. So what does mean this expression? Some some remark about this. The first remark is the first remark is if you have um, minimal hypersurface in the ball, then what you do, you have that. We have the relation about the, the length of the boundary and the area of the sigma. And uh, moreover, if you have minimal, and uh, now with the surface, you have that, the language in particular, of course, you have this. Okay. Moreover, if you have that, this integral, for example, some condition, if you have that this, this integral here is bigger or equal to zero, we have that in compared with this. Only as some information, okay? Um, don't forget this because I, I need this in the other time. Okay, but I can prove this again, don't worry. So <clears throat> let, me, let me see here, one minute. The, the calculation is clear. There are some questions here. Is there some question? No? Okay, now I, I need to, to clean my, my blackboard to prove the results. <clears throat> one minute. These are simple, but I think this is important to, to use when you study this. Okay. So, and uh, remember that uh, theorem, sorry, theorem, um, Gauss Bonnet, Bonnet, theorem that I said yesterday. Remember that yesterday I said for you. These are Gaussian curvature. And uh, now in our case, you have the boundary, okay? Then these are uh, geodesic curvature and this is equal, all the characteristic. And uh, in this case, here, you have that, this set sign that. And uh, G is genus and R is the number of component of the boundary. Yesterday, you don't have this because in my surfaces don't have boundary, okay? So you have that. Now, why is this important? This is important because if you have a, a equation Gauss, you have that the Gauss curvature is equal the mean the vector me curvature minus the this expression, okay? So if you look at that and look at that, what you can say? You can say that in this expression here, <coughs> minus this expression, this, what this? This is length of the boundary. Why? Why this is equal to one? 
so you can, in this case, what's case? This case here, o Cavalcante means Vitória, ok? N is equal to zero, sorry, N is equal to two. So you have here, in this case, plus two, plus two. Um, observation, a remark. Here in this case, you will prove this in the case of the hype surface, but you can prove the same way that you have here. Okay, don't worry. And uh, you have here. Okay. And uh, what more? If I forget something, please help me. If this is the same that uh, this expression. So what's the idea? The idea is to, to analyze the genomes and the um, components of the boundary, this idea. Well, here you can see, you can see this expression and this expression and two. This is the same that you can show these are, you can write this expression, one minute, plus this expression, and uh, this, 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 and uh, plus one, because you have one here, one here, minus this fact here. Sorry, because I forget this. Okay, well, now I think that I finish. Um, where the surface leaf, the surface leaf near the ball, okay, this is a bigger than zero. This condition here, you can use it now, you can use the gap condition, okay? Now the gap condition is, is used here, and uh, you have that here, that this is bigger than zero, okay? If you have this, this bigger than zero, you have that to analyze two minus the two G R is the same that to analyze this expression. <clears throat> okay? So in this case, you have that the only solution is G equal to zero and uh, R equal to one. And finish the proof, okay? Um, beautiful proof, okay? And uh, so you have that sigma topology at disk because you have uh, to to use the the phase chain results, okay? And I uh, finally you can prove, right? Something here? Nothing. Okay, let's continue. And. Uh, the, the, in this case here, I did for you that you don't have information about the mean curvature, okay? You don't have information about this, okay? But you can, the next result that they proved, they proved the, 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 this column. And uh, now you have that phi boundary, orientable, compact, and um, minimal. Now you have that the, Sorry, my here I put here. And uh, what's more information? Information that you have the gap. That's why this. Look for this this one that I calculate. Okay, if it is a minimal surface, you don't have this. Okay, then you have the equal here. So what they prove? They prove that the surface. Is a flat equatorial disk, okay? Is a flat equatorial disk in this case. <clears throat> okay, the idea here, what's happening, what's the difference? I use all that I have here in the black body. Sorry, because I will clean some things here. In this case here, you don't have it. In this case, of course, this is two. This is don't have this. By wow, what more? What more that you have? It, you don't have more this. And uh, 
I will clean this, okay? <laughs> so what you have here, you have that only the information that one after, I think this for after you clean all the things here. Okay, bye. In the same way, you can show that it is the same way after you clean, of course, all the things here, because we, in this case, you have a minimal surface and uh, use the gap condition, the gap condition, where the gap condition here. So you can use the gap condition, you have that this bigger equal to zero, so in the same way, you have that. <clears throat> now you can analyze what's happened here. So you have two situations. The first one is, is, sorry, this mistake. Okay, yeah. And the first one when, when this happened and uh, the other situation when this happened. Okay, so you need to, to analyze this, this two conditions. Let's, let's, let's to do this. So in this, in this case here, what you can see, in this case here, you have that J is equal to zero and R is equal to one, and you have it finished because it, again, use the, the uh, phrase each end. So, and uh, I, sorry, I commit, uh, I think that I commit a mistake in the last result because I said that I use phrase chain, but I don't know if this, the surface is same as C, sorry. I don't know, I don't use the phrase chain in the last result, sorry. But now you can use the phrase chain because you have the minimal surface, okay? Sorry for my mistake. So in this case here, you have, if you have this condition, you can conclude that. But in this case here, what's happy? Look for this. If, we, if you have this condition happy, so this is equal to zero. So what's happy? This expression equal, this expression equal uh, zero. So if we have this expression equal to zero, we have that K is equal um, minus two. And uh, this don't this don't can be uh, occur because because I'll prove that if you have um, don't uh, you can you don't can don't does not exist so minimal surface in the hyperbolic space. Okay, so in this case, don't this don't happen. Okay, so. I finished the proof, this proof. Wow. Okay, let's continue. And uh, there is some question here. Is there some question here? No? Let's continue. So um, the following remark is, is um, Barbosa, Freitas, Melo, and Vittorio provide a gap theorem for minimal fee boundary and uh, in, in the case of hypersurface, okay? So uh, in the same, it's important to say um, Ambrose and Nunes, the same condition, this first, uh, the same condition, the Ambrose and Nunes, this gap condition was used by Mix, Paris, and Haas to characterize the plane, the, the catenoid in the, among all the properties and by the minimal surface with boundary, in doubt boundary, sorry, in doubt boundary. Okay, these are some remark. And uh, now I remember that I finished um, the second letter. And uh, you have a question, please let me know. Here I put some references that you use it today, but of course there are so many references that you use, and uh, these are only a few references. And uh, thank you for your attention. See you tomorrow. If you have any question, please, please let me know. Thank you. <clears throat> Is there any question? Any question? All, all clear? 
there are some problems here. Problem if we, if we, you can think about these gaps, okay? But uh, this is all that I think, uh, this is all that I prove it for you. If you, if you can some question, let me know. If not, I finish here today. Tomorrow, uh, tomorrow only I, I, I uh, a minute. Tomorrow I, I talk with you about uh, some results tablet that uh, you show you, for example, um, Nonis provides some results and uh, I show for you the term, but uh, today I don't prove it. And tomorrow I prove this result for you, okay? I finish here. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you. I hope so that uh, tomorrow you stay here with me. Thanks a lot. <laughs>